Okay, today I'm going to be showing you basically a little bit about the game maker environment uh, and the you know how to work within that environment. And if you look here, this is the game maker screen with uh, basically a, a blank slate with nothing in it yet in terms of the game. But you'll notice on the left, uh, and I'm going to actually change this for now. There are a lot of different options here. We're going to reduce that by going by checking off advanced mode. It'll bring it to simple mode. For right now, that'll definitely uh, serve our purposes with, with uh, limiting the confusion. So if you see on the left there, there are folders for sprites, sounds, backgrounds, objects, room, uh, game information, and global game settings. We'll be covering everything except for global game settings, at least uh, for now. Now, the basically, Sprites, uh, a sprite in the context of a game is basically the graphics that you're going to use in the game. Okay? As a sprite, they're just stored in the database of, of uh, images you can use in the game, but they don't do anything until we um, have an object call upon that sprite and use that sprite to do what we program the object to do. Okay, so again, understand there's gonna be a lot of times it'll seem a little redundant because it'll seem like we create a sprite and then create an object using that same sprite. But think of the sprites as basically our library of like pictures and images and things that we will most likely use in the game. Um, and the object, which we'll get to shortly, is what we program to actually, you know, do stuff. Okay? So we're going to start out, we're going to, for our purposes here, we're going to uh, end up creating a very simple game just for demonstration's sake. Um, but again, so that's, the, that's what a sprite is. Sounds are fairly obvious. We're going to be able to incorporate sounds in our games. You can record your own sounds. You can import music. You can import small sounds for sound effects. Um, backgrounds are going to be when we deal with, you know, maybe the level has a different background image that everything else sits on top of. Um, objects, like I said, is going to be the actual uh, characters and things in the game that can do something. Okay, um, A wall might be an object even though it's not a character in the game, but there will be uh, attributes that that wall will, will maintain and we'll get into that. And then rooms are going to be the different levels of the games. And uh, finally, game information is going to be where you'll put the rules, and basically it would be the first thing people see when they go into your game that explains what the game's about, how to play, and all of that. Okay? So, for now, I'm going to stop this video here just so we have it recorded, and then I'm going to go on to our next one, which will actually start creating a game using sprites, objects, backgrounds, and all.